Hey all, welcome back to Odd Rob. So listen, I just wanna let you know that this video I filmed mostly on site. Unfortunately, there were some issues with the audio. Well, let's see what we can go find, shall we? So I had to reshoot some of the parts here. So let's try this again. My interest in fossils started at a very young age. I remember following my cousin Danny around in upstate New York at a place called Burn. And we'd go around to different uh, rock walls and stuff and find really cool fossils, most of them from the Devonian period. Now over the years, my collection grew as I found or I purchased more fossils. But you know, as the years passed, the enthusiasm in my youth, well, I gave way to adult responsibilities. However, now that I've got some time on my hands, I'm really hoping to get out there and add to my collection. Today, I'll be going to Rickard Hill, uh, which is located in upstate New York in the beautiful Schoharie Valley. This will be my first time at this site, so I'm not really quite sure what I'm gonna find. Now, according to my research, this site dates back to the Devonian period, which is from about 419 million years ago. This period in time was named after a place in England called Devon, and it was the first place that they actually studied different fossils from this time period. So supposedly at Rickard Hill, the most common fossils found there are sponges and things called brachiopods, which are basically uh, shells. Now I'm familiar with the Skaheri Valley, and it's hard to imagine that that whole area was once underwater. So you know what, enough of this talk. Let's head on over and see what we can find. So being on site, you can see that the stone itself has been coming down and, you know, it's, uh, see a lot of loose spots. So you have to be careful when you're over here near the, the cliff face itself. Uh, there's a lot of stones and stuff and rocks down below that you can go through. And it looks like there's a couple places here, like this larger stone. It looks like uh, people have been, uh, you know, hammering rocks or beating rocks against it to get to, uh, you know, break your pods or whatever are there. Now, here's the beautiful Schoharie Valley. It's, it's really beautiful. The camera just doesn't do it justice. Um, but when you come up the hill, one side you can park on, there's my Jeep over there. You can see another cliff face over there, the cutouts on either side of the road. Just walking around, you're actually able to see the different stones and stuff. Uh, I found one that I just picked up here First one I've seen with a little bit of shell in it. You can see some shell here and another spot here. Um, what I'm gonna do is try and break it apart a little bit in a little while just to uh, see what I can find. So here I am, I'm back home. And I wanted to stay out to the site a little bit longer than I did, unfortunately. <laughs> These old bones just don't work like they used to. It's pretty rocky terrain out there, and uh, just be careful. I had brought a chair with me. Uh, unfortunately, it was just too rocky to really have it and a little bit hilly to use it. So I packed up as much as I could, probably about, I'd say maybe 30 pounds of stone with me. I brought it home and I chipped away a little bit to see what I could find. Let me share a little bit of what I got so far. There you've got a nice uh, brachiopod right there. Uh, I chipped that out a little bit later on, a little bit more. Here, uh, here's another, just another brachiopod. And here's two little ones together that came out really nicely, actually. Now, I was real happy with this. This is a nice shape, a little bit different brachiopod. Looking forward to getting that a little bit smaller. A lot of variety on these. Now, also, you can see a lot of the indentations. There's uh, brachiopods here indentations here there's some more over here but they're just all through these rocks there's a couple of them on the back as well here's a nice uh here's a nice one right there nice breaky pod and on this last piece i can't wait to crack this one open it's got a lot of breaky pods on it all over and through here they're kind of stacked up here it looks like and you've just got them throughout this whole rock. But what I found really great, if you look right there, 
it's a really nice crinoid stem. And again, that's something I'm gonna have to carefully break out. I have to actually learn how to do that. So I just thought I'd share these with you and uh, some of the stuff you can find. I wasn't out there that long. Um, next time I go out, I'm gonna go out maybe in the fall for about a few hours, see what I could find, fill up a whole bunch of buckets. So listen, if you've enjoyed this video or found it helpful, go ahead and hit that subscribe and like buttons down below. It'll definitely help our channel grow. Uh, we always welcome feedbacks and comments. Send them on over. We'll get to all of them. And listen, until next time, stay safe, stay well. By all means, stay odd. <laughs> yeah.